Welcome back to another Tool World Podcast. I'm your host, David Jew, and I'm here with Master Jew. How's it going there, Mr. Jew? It's good. So sometimes uh, we have trainings uh, where we don't wear the uniform. Ah! <laughs> and then sometimes, <laughs> but then sometimes, like, yeah, it's optional. And I just feel like sometimes I'm a little more comfortable in the uniform, probably just because we wear it all the time for class, training. Is there something wrong with not wearing the uniform? Whew, that's a good question. Maybe in some countries, I would say that's a big no no. Mm -hmm. But we Americans mm -hmm. are like little renegades or something. <laughs> yeah. So that's a good question. Should you or should you not? And I think what you really need to understand is what is the uniform really for? Mm -hmm. Right? And. Um, <clears throat> Does it just tell you that, hey, we do Taekwondo, mm -hmm. and that person does Karate, yeah. and that person wears no uniform, must be... Muay Thai? Muay Thai? <laughs> well, no, no. Muay Thai has a uniform, right? It's a short pants. Well, they're or not the that shorts. shorts, but they're like basketball-looking shorts. Shorts, whatever. Yeah. But it's a uniform, really. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Maybe MMA, right? But so. MMA is like shirtless. But I don't know what they Shirt, wear. Shirtless and Speedos? Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> And there's reasons why you would wear that. Yeah. Because of the sport, right? I yeah. Because the uniform could be used against you. Right. And that's why judo uniforms are much thicker because mm -hmm. they use the uniform to help them with the throws. Yeah. And so, um, yeah, uniforms. What is the actual purpose of it? Mm -hmm. And I don't think it really is about how to, how to identify what art you do. Mm -hmm. I mean, in some play, some situations, like... You, you see a policeman has a uniform and a fireman has a uniform. Mm -hmm. The army has a uniform. Mm -hmm. The navy has a uniform. And they're all different, but it also identifies who you are. Yeah. But what is the actual purpose of a uniform? In my opinion, the uniform really is discipline. Mm -hmm. Right? It puts me in a mindset. And I recall General Che kind of talked about that. That the uniform is about a mindset. When mm -hmm. I put on my Taekwondo uniform, I'm ready to do Taekwondo. Yeah. When I put on my basketball shorts, I'm ready to do basketball. Yeah. Or lounge around. Mm -hmm. One or the two. Yeah. <laughs> I don't ever lounge around in my Taekwondo uniform, though. Not too much. Do mm -hmm. you? I've seen you do it, though. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a good question. Okay. That, I mean, that leads to another, another question about that. And so if I'm doing Taekwondo, I should. I should have the uniform on because yeah. it puts me in a certain mindset. Yeah. But let's say I'm doing a seminar and I'm going to go to have lunch. Yeah. Does that mean I have to change my clothes? Mm. Right? Well, I think the proper etiquette is that we actually take off the belt. Yeah. Maybe take off the dobok top or we cover it up. Well, it looks ridiculous without the belt on. It does. So, but the, and just the top? Looks you know what I mean? Like a little kid that comes in with <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, ah, <laughs> what happened to your belt? <laughs> yeah. I forgot it. Right. Right. And so, um, how about training outside? You know, like, some days it can be super hot, mm -hmm. right? And so you have your dobok pants and you have your belt on and mm -hmm. you have your t-shirt on instead of throwing a dobok because it can be warm mm -hmm. i i am um, i would agree with that to a certain degree i think as long as it looks consistent because it has to look like a uniform because i i need to have that that discipline mm -hmm. and right. so if i was going to do that i would have okay everyone if you want we're working out outside you can you can wear the dobok pants your, your belt and you're gonna wear this t-shirt so we look the same if we know we're doing taekwondo what if i want to take off the top and show off your yeah 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 yeah, yeah 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 <laughs> is that okay i remember a while back someone posted that in a group they're in the wt group yeah and they were saying oh they're kind of bashing it a little bit like yeah. oh is that traditional but people do it when they're at like the beach or something well i think scenarios are different right I mean, if you're out on the beach and it's nice and sunny and you're like, oh man, I'm, I'm just working out. I'm going to take off my top. Right. You know, there, in the 70s, you saw that a lot. Yeah. Uh, Il Cho, mm -hmm. um, Bruce Lee, yeah. right? Take off. And then people would not wear shirts around, walk around and show off their body. Yeah. Well, and that's, that's interesting a, that's, too. 
because you don't see that nowadays you don't just see someone we're out of shape that's why. <laughs> <laughs> well you don't see anybody just walking around without a shirt on no you outside. don't it's yeah, you know. It's pretty weird to, to see that. Maybe Sometimes. on the beach, right? Well, only on the beach. So scenarios are different, right? Um, if I was working out on the beach, which I'd like to do that, and take a bunch of people, go to Hawaii, and we'll mm -hmm. work out on the beach. How's yeah. that sound? You got, Are you guys in for that? Let's set it up. Mm. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I want to do it. Yeah. yeah. Um, scenarios are different. I think... Oh, today people taking off their shirt and showing off their body. Uh, even back in the 70s, I, I kind of thought it was, in some ways, it was kind of cool because that's what Bruce Lee was doing. Yeah. That's what some of the top martial arts guys were doing, right? Yeah. And, <clears throat> but it also is kind of vain in a way. Mm. It kind of shows off um, that ego kind of thing. Yeah. And we should be a little bit more humble, I think. Mm. So yeah. I, I wouldn't do it. <clears throat> but. So, getting back to your question, should I wear a uniform? Well, like I said, I when I put on my dobok, mm -hmm. then I sh I'm doing taekwondo. That's what I should be doing. Yeah, and that's also the case. Um, as a outside of taekwondo, you are who you are, and you should represent the art as well. Mm -hmm. And so, should I wear baggy pants and a hoodie? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do sometimes just to be. Incarnito or something right? when you're out and about out and about what's wrong it's with that <laughs> style yeah, then you have people that say oh isn't that master jew <laughs> <laughs> that homeless man walking over there <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> uh, i mean what kind of image do you want to portray yeah right mm -hmm. and so i probably wear sweats all the time right mm -hmm. and it's one of those regular like sweat sweats not just a mix, mix match i think you kind of complain about that that yeah. i was like what do you call that just a regular the tracksuit the tracksuit yeah but i haven't seen you wear one of those in a while i wore the other you day <laughs> <laughs> yeah only right. because we asked you yes yeah, covid said, it's covid uh yeah i guess so yeah. <laughs> anyway um so but there are times like we have casual training should you wear the uniform or not wear the uniform i kind of think you should mm-hmm you yeah. know tr training is training yeah and um maybe like team training is it okay to wear my team outfit yeah yeah why not it's getting hot should i take off my my top yeah okay well, well it's getting have... really hot but maybe <laughs> should i take off my sweatpants oh now it's kind of like sounding like basketball <laughs> <laughs> yeah now what we should have is a team shorts team shirt yeah we can make a dobak which Team with the dough box short pants and maybe shirtless sleeve or I don't know. Because it's like a Cobra Kai look. Cobra Kai look. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, let us know your thoughts on wearing the uniform for your trading. Don't forget to check out our Tool World Plus program where we go over the patterns and the techniques a little bit more. And as always, don't forget to be safe. Keep training. And we'll see you guys next time. Take one. <laughs>